Before I worked as a tour interactor, I worked as an extra on the Harry Potter films and that was absolutely incredible for me because I've always been a massive Harry Potter fan and I, I've grown up around the area and I'd always drive past the studios and I'd see all the big studio lights and I'd see the tips of the sets and uh, I was just dying to, to get in there and have a look around. We've basically opened our doors um, to show the thousands of Harry Potter fans that are around the world, the, the amount of detail and, and craftsmanship that has gone into the films. If you look up, that's the real uh, Great Hall ceiling there and that's something that people get to see when they come here. Probably the most important piece of uh, makeup on the Harry Potter films. There you go, so you can see Harry's lightning bolt there. And that'd have to be applied to him every single morning. Using this up here, this is a stencil uh, of his forehead. So they could put it on and then make sure the skull is in the exact same place every single day. This is the Mirror of Error said, and across the top, it just looks like Latin or some kind of ancient language. But actually, if you read it backwards, it says, I show not your face, but your heart's desire. London has quite a lot of connections with Harry Potter itself. For example, King's Cross, obviously that's where they go and board the train to Hogwarts. And it, it does feel really magical when you're there. They've even got the, the little uh, cart in the wall as well. Diagon Alley for me really reminds me of some of the older markets in London, like in Camden. You've got all the vintage markets and you can spend hours just walking around there looking for little treasures and trinkets and stuff. I've got a huge passion for the film industry, so the thing I love about London is walking through the streets and recognising all those really iconic locations from famous films. And it is like being in a movie, it's like starring in your own little film.